Again, it's Mr. Fry here. Hope you're well. Now, it's very definitely autumn here in the UK. I don't know about where you live, but uh, here the weather's taking a turn for the worse. Uh, leaves are starting to fall, rain on the, on the streets, and so I'm getting a bit slippy. So my mind starts to turn to how am I going to protect the bike through the winter? Now, what I like to do about this time of year is apply a protectant spray to my bike, and I use something called ACF50. You've probably heard of it. Looks a bit like this. Here we go. Here's a tin of it. Comes in uh, various forms. This is the aerosol form. Now this was developed in the aircraft industry. Apparently they spray it on Lear jets and aircraft on air aircraft carriers, so should be pretty good. You can, it's safe to put on any surface, um, not on your brakes or rubber, because it is actually uh, slightly lubricant, uh, but certainly it can go on all the metal areas uh, and even plastics if you want to too. The idea is you give your bike a good clean, you then spray this on, um, and it penetrates way into the mechanisms and it gives you a protective covering through winter. Helps to keep things like all your fasteners nice and shiny, uh, stops them tarnishing, and also it's good for your electric. So I recommend it, I've used it for a couple of years now, uh, and I thought it was just worth doing this quick video to show you how you go about applying it, so stay tuned. So a bit like uh, when we did the chain lube on this bike, um, first thing to do, well first, very first thing you have to do is clean the bike, I've already done that, I don't intend to teach you how to clean your motorcycle, but assuming you've got a clean bike to, to start with, um, first thing is to make sure you either do this outdoors, because you're going to get a lot of spray around, or make sure you protect the area and your, uh, the respective parts of the bike that you don't want to get the, the spray onto. So, lots of newspaper. Once again, an old copy of uh, MCN comes in very handy with this sort of thing. And as much as anything, this is really just to keep the um, potential lubricant overspray off the floor, uh, where of course it would uh, get picked up on the tyres which you don't want, for obvious reasons. Okay, once you've got your work area protected, uh, next thing to do is to make sure that you've got great protection on the tyres and brakes, because that's absolutely somewhere you don't want the ACF50 to go. So I'll use a couple of old blankets for that and just wrap them around the wheels like this. Okay, then the front. Okay, so that's the, uh, the bike all prepared, nice and clean, and uh, covered the floor, so we don't get any lubricant on the floor, and the wheels and the brakes are completely covered. Right, there we go, I'm all uh, overalled up, got the hands protected as well, because again, this is one of those messy jobs, uh, and while I've been doing that, the ACF50 has been sitting in this bowl of uh, hot water, just getting it warmed up so it gets nice and thin, so that it helps uh, with the spraying and the, and the misting. It still comes out quite gloopy, uh, but it's less gloopy than if you use the, the um, aerosol can proper. So uh, I do recommend doing it this way, it does make it a bit easier. The other thing you're going to need to have handy is an old rag that you don't care about. I like to use, uh, this is just an old microfiber, because even though you spray it on and try and get it to mist so it penetrates well into the engine, um, you do find uh, that you will, get, you will get run. So the last job once you've sprayed it is just to wipe it around the various engine cases and so on. So let's show you how that's done. Right, here we are then, ready to go. Uh, and even on the, on the Street Triple, everything is um, uh, powder coated, uh, etc. This stuff still works well because it gets right in the engine. It keeps all the any electrics in there, nice and uh, nice and free from uh, water and corrosion. And uh, on the Triumphs in particular, they have an awful lot uh, of these um, bolts that have nice shiny heads. And I've had this bike now for uh, two and a bit years, uh, and these are still as nice and shiny as the day when I bought it. And that's uh, I like to think because I've ACF fifted the bike. Uh, on my old Tiger, I didn't do it, or when I bought it, they were already. Um, showing signs of a bit of corrosion. So I do think it's well worth doing if you want to keep your bike looking pristine. You'll see what I mean by this coming out gloopy as I start to spray it in. There we go, helps if you uh, turn the sprayer on. Okay, let's uh, let's just start uh, spraying away then. You'll see what I mean by it going a bit gloopy and why you need to wipe it off afterwards. But I'm trying to get a mist to go as far as I can within the engine. That's, that's just the aim of the game. Now you can, as I think I've mentioned before, pay people to come round and do this to your bike for you. Um, which is quite good if you can't really be bothered to do it. Um, although I've had mixed success with that route, as I think I've mentioned before. So um, so I, I now just do it myself. It's not hard, is it? Let's face it. I'm just making sure I get it on everything that looks a bit shiny. Uh, you want to try and avoid your uh, the bits where your feet go, the pegs, of course, uh, because, again, you don't want your boots sliding off them. So you have to be a bit sensible as you do this. So any part of the bike that is prone to getting covered in crud, spray away and fill your boots. Particularly, of course, on the underside of the machine. Now you see it's all over the uh, downpipes now, um, 
and quite thick and gloopy and it just makes the bike look wet but it will settle down and again when you wipe it that's all fine what you will notice when you start the bike up and of course everything gets hot you will get a bit of smoking coming off it and it will smell a bit odd but that uh, that goes off after a you know, half an hour ride okay so that's pretty much that side okay just the same thing here again focusing on those bits of the bike that you know get covered in uh, in crud and muck during the winter such as the suspension areas uh, and the other side of the bike and the engine uh, and that's really all there is to it again avoiding the pegs if you possibly can Just trying to get a fine mist in And there we are. And that's uh, that's pretty much it as far as the application is concerned. As I say, if you've got a bike with ferries, you can bring it all over the plastics. You can, of course, get it into the electrics and the handlebars too. But uh, I don't actually bother to do that because, generally speaking, those uh, don't get hit with the worst of the crud. Um, when this really becomes relevant, of course, is uh, later on in the winter when they start to put salt on the roads. And this stuff will give you great, this uh, uh, move will get, give you great protection against salt on the roads. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that for uh, five or ten minutes now just to kind of settle in and penetrate and do its stuff. It has a sort of, um, not capillary action in this case, but it does have creep, this particular material, and it will find its way into every crevice if you just leave it for five or ten minutes. Okay, pretty much there now. Um, giving the bike a few minutes for the, uh, for the uh, liquid just to penetrate into the engine, etc. As you can see, it dries up pretty gloopy and, and horrible looking on the face. It doesn't look good on the bike from where I'm sitting. I don't know if it picks it up on the camera. But if you wipe around everything with a cloth, um, you can bring it up looking fine and it just leaves a very, very fine covering on the machine which is what's giving you the protection, so well, well worth doing. And of course, not only does this get the excess off, but it uh, helps spread it where you may have missed certain parts. Okay, so there we are, job done. Uh, I've just wiped off all the excess uh, and it's actually come up quite uh, sparkling clean. Took me about, what, 10 minutes total job start to finish. So all, all I've got to do now is, uh, is clean up and we're done. And the bike is protected throughout winter. Um, the great thing about that ACF50 as well, by the way, and I'm not, uh, I'm not here to advertise it, there are other similar such products around. It actually molecularly bonds with um, metallic surfaces, so even when you wash the bike, it still continues to provide its protection. And for the sort of light use that I do on this bike uh, in the winter, uh, I'd, you know, I'd purposely stay out of really wet or salty weather, um, then, that, then that one application will last me through till next year again when I do this again. So there you are, I hope that's been of some interest or use to you. Until next time, this has been the Missenden Flyer Cheerio.